Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try these mac and cheese pot noodles. We actually purchased these in London while we were over in London on our trip. So we were on vacation there and bought these. They were, you can see there were basically two pounds or uh, yeah, one ninety nine. So basically two pounds, which means they're like uh, a little expensive. That's like three pounds for us. I mean, three dollars for us. So three dollars for a pot noodles. It seems a little expensive to me, but we'll see. Uh, these are new, so it, that's pretty cool that I got on on the new flavor. 250 calories total. And like I said, these are the mac and cheese flavor. And what you do is you um, take the lid off, you take the little packet of seasoning out, you fill the bowl, the boiling water up to the bottom line right there, the very bottom one. Um, you let it sit for two minutes. Um, I usually let mine sit for three because uh, many people online told me to let it go longer. So I usually do mine for three. Um, stir, leave it for another three minutes, and then add your seasoning packet, stir in, and I mean, stir it all up, and then eat it. So that's how it goes. So it's a little bit longer process than just heating up in the microwave, but it's still not bad. Okay, here's the flavor packet. So we're going to pull that out. But there's what it looks like. Uh, tomato sauce. Huh, that's interesting. So um, I may try it without that first and then add the tomato. It's basically like ketchup is what it usually tastes like. So there's the powder. You can see what it looks like. And uh, so anyway, I'm going to let my water heat up, uh, put it in here and stir it all up and I'll be back. Okay, here it is after it's uh, been at six minutes of resting time and stirring. Um, like I said, I haven't added the sauce yet because I don't want to, I want to taste just the macaroni and cheese and I'll, I'll add the tomato sauce in a minute just to see if I may, I may like it better without, so I don't want to add a lot uh, right up front. So I'm going to let this cool off for just a minute. It's been cooling off a little bit, but I'm going to show you a closer up uh, vision of it, and then I'll be right back in just one second. Okay, all I did was flip the camera around. Um, let's try a bite. It smells uh, like a box macaroni and cheese, so it, it's, it's a typical macaroni and cheese smelling um, Meal, although it does have these little um, green and red spices, I'm assuming are like a peppers and onions, maybe. I don't, I don't know. Still a little hot. Yeah. Um, that's not bad. I think the Kraft macaroni and cheese tastes much better. And it's much cheaper, but um, overall this is pretty good. Um, I think I would rather buy literally buy the cups of uh, the Kraft macaroni and cheese, the little um, the bowls, the microwave bowls. They they actually have a much much better flavor than this. Let me add just a little bit of this tomato sauce to it. Not much, just a little bit. Like I said, it looks like ketchup. Now I don't think I'd like that with that. Um, Yeah, it's a little too tomato. -y. I don't like um, I don't like tomato sauce in my macaroni. So yeah, I'd rather just assume eat the macaroni by itself. Um, it's okay. Like I said, not my favorite. I would probably um, I'd buy the macaroni, the Kraft macaroni and cheese bowls. Um, they taste a lot better. Even the Velveeta macaroni bowls taste better than this. Um, this one's just okay. I might give this one. I know it's a new flavor, but I'm going to give it like a two and a half. It's definitely edible, and if you want to go grab it, go buy it, try it out. Um, however, if you're in the United States, you can't get it anyway, um, unless they have it at World Market or something, but I can't imagine that. But if you're in London, the UK somewhere, um, try it out. You might really like it. I think um, I think there's other brands that are better, uh, me personally, than this. Um, it's, definitely, it's definitely edible. You can definitely eat it, and it will fill you up, but... Um, the flavor is not all there. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.